Draw Plus includes the powerful Cutout Studio, which allows you to separate the subject of a photo from its background. It's very easy to use, and in this tutorial we'll show you how. With the image selected, click Cutout Studio. Cutout Studio provides its own help pane on the right here, and you can see that it provides instructions to help you choose the right method and the right tools depending on the image you're working with. For example, if we click Choosing the right method, we're told that if the image has a simple or a uniform background, we should use method 1, the discard brush. If the image has a complex background and a more simple subject of interest, use the keep brush. Our image has a very simple uniform background, so we'll use the discard brush tool. Over on the left toolbar then, click the discard brush tool, and we can use a large brush size for this area. We'll also select the grow tolerance checkbox. This controls the precision with which areas are selected. It tells Draw Plus to extend the area selected under the brush into the surrounding pixels. And we can choose this option because we're working on such a uniform background. Once you've chosen your brush, go ahead and click on the areas you want to discard. You can vary the brush size to discard smaller areas. get a better idea of the areas that are to be discarded and the areas that are to be kept, click the Show Tinted button. Areas marked in red will be discarded. You can see that there's an area here and another here that are marked to be discarded, but we want to keep those areas. We can easily do that. Let's just zoom in. We'll recover this area first. Click the Keep Brush tool. I think a medium brush would be fine for this. And just paint to recover the area. You can see that the areas that we're keeping are now tinted in green. Again, you'll need to vary your brush size depending on the area under repair. And just continue to do this until you're happy you've got all the areas you want to keep. Now over here you can see there's an area that's marked to be kept, but we actually want to discard that. We'll click the discard brush tool and select a small brush, but this time we'll clear the grow tolerance checkbox because we want Draw Plus to just select the pixels directly under the brush. We don't want our selection to be extended at all. And you can see how precisely I'm able to select these areas. We finished. Zoom out, and then just click OK. And there we go. We've extracted the subject of our photo from its background. 